everyone, back to point number nine, okay? Point number nine is thinking we're marketing when we're actually just doing sales. It's going after one sale at a time versus a hundred sale at a time. So when I mentioned before that sales gets you one customer, see, going and doing networking is great, but it's a one customer at a time acquisition methodology. So instead of doing going to a networking function, run your own networking events. Bring 100 people to yourself rather than going and being one at a time type marketing. You know, even like telemarketing, people say, well, I've got a telemarketer. Okay, well, if telemarketing works, why wouldn't you have 100 of them? You know, it's that philosophy of, of you know, how do I get 100 customers at a time or 1,000 customers at a time rather than one at a time? Right. And so it's about... If sales-oriented marketing strategies are kind of outbound mode, you know, I'm going out, I'm going out to the market. Real marketing is inbound, getting them to contact you, getting them to find you on the internet, getting them to find your store, getting them to call you. That's real marketing. And so philosophically, I have to help people understand that your goal is to have inbound calls. Your goal is not to be always going outbound. If, if you go back to um, you know, simple things of testing and measuring, that's why when the phone rings, we, we answer the phone and at some point we ask them the question, by the way, how did you find out about us? When they email off of your website or when they click a link on your website, you track and trace all of these things. Right. So you know where they're coming into you from versus you going out and doing it. Outbound's easier to measure. Inbound, you got to get a little more scientific and a little more measured in inbound to make sure you're getting the responses that you need. So I, I think that if, if I can be really direct with everyone here today, I'm going to try and use direct rather than the word blunt. Okay. Um, if you if your phone is not ringing more the, more inbound than you are outbound, your marketing isn't working. So when we start thinking of them coming to you, them finding you, this is where we start to understand that building a website, building social media is all about how do people find me? How do they find me? What are they looking for? What are they searching for? What, who will they be friends with that will refer me to them? How many ways can I make it easy for someone to find me? And so, you know, back in the day, you just put billboards up everywhere because if you're on the side of the road and there's billboards and people can find you because they see the billboard and, and hey, presto. Whereas today, a, a website is a billboard, a blog article is a billboard, a post on your social media, a video on YouTube. These are all... The, the level of content that we put out today is, is of vital importance. And if I can just spend a minute on content marketing, Tony, because I think that in today's marketplace, people really need to get the fact that content marketing is the highest priority online. See, and if I can go against my own talk here just for a second, just to make sure that I, I, I am the devil's advocate to myself, marketing is dying. Ratings mm -hmm. and testimonials are growing. Marketing's dying. Ratings and testimonials are growing. Now, what do I mean by that? If I find out about your company and then I go and do a Yelp or a Google ratings, and this is, here's the challenge, Tony. I bet you half the people watching this video don't even know their Yelp score or their Google rating or their Facebook ratings. I bet you they don't even know it. You know, and that's a killer. Not asking your best customers to sit in front of a camera and record a video about how great you are and to write down how great they think you are. Not asking your best customers to do that is tantamount to suicide in business today. So when we look at building content, the first content we got to build is ratings and testimonials. That, that has to be priority number one for every one of us in business. You know, and you've, there's, of course, there's the big ratings, you know, Google and the Yelp and, you know, travels sites and, and, but then there's the ones that are local and there's also the ones that are industry specific. So you got to get real clear on your ratings on all of these. Mm. Testimonials, 
listen, you, you don't need to spend a fortune. Yeah, I sit here, I got a big TV studio because I put out a lot of content and I film a lot of things, but you don't need that. All you need is an iPhone these days. You know, go and pay your 14-year-old kid to go and film your best customers and edit that stuff up online. They got more editing tools in Snapchat than you even need today. I mean, it's, it's so simple. But that being said, you cannot outsell your best customer. Your best customer will outsell you every day of the week. So make sure that stuff is out there. Now, then when it comes to content about any business, you know, I, I love doing Facebook Live because I do a Facebook Live video, 15 to 20 minutes. I'll do the seven reasons for this or the 10 steps to that. Each of the 10 steps takes about a minute to two minutes. I, I give that to my team. They, I, I do it live so it gets interaction straight away. It then gets shared on my YouTube channel, my Roku channel, my Amazon channel, my iTunes channel. Because again, all billboards. How is someone going to find me? Someone who's on Roku, will they find me? Yes. Someone who's on Pandora, do they want to find me? Yes. People want to find you everywhere and you got to put it out there in so many places that people can find you everywhere. That's marketing, real marketing. Now, take that then to the next step and say, okay, take that 20 minute video, cut it into 10 one to two minute videos. So there I got stuff to do all week. Listen back to it and find the 10 gems that I said, one about each of the things. There's 10 memes that just got created. And, and a meme is just a picture with the words on, on the front of it, gang, if you don't know what a meme is. And, and then you got t 10 to 20 Twitter statements that are right there as well. So from one video, I got an entire week's marketing content to go out there to all the different sites, all the different channels, all my different customers. I can create videos that are specific to a target audience. I can create videos specific to a product, specific to a service, specific to a geography. I can create anything I want that gets marketing. Video marketing today is at the highest it's been. See, the change that's happening is we used to go to TV and everyone watched television. No one, not no one, a vast majority of the marketplace today does not watch television live. They watch it on streaming. They, they, get, they binge watch a TV show. So they're binge watching on Roku, they're on iTunes, they're on these things. So that's where they're going. Help them find you from these channels. They're binge watching videos. My kids binge watch videos on, on Instagram. They binge watch on Snapchat. It used to be Vine, but Vine died on the line. That's, that's another one that, that, that got killed off. They binge watch, adults binge watch on Facebook. Kids don't go on Facebook anymore. That's why Facebook had to buy Instagram just to keep up with Snapchat. You know, so you got to look at this stuff, Tony, and, and if you are going to get people coming to you, you got to give them relevant content to your target audience and what they want to know about. And, you know, hey, here's a simple lesson. What's Tony doing today? Tony's making a video and he's making me do the work to create content <laughs> for his site. You're the genius, Tony. Why am I teaching this stuff? Dang. I love it. So that is point nine. Go after a hundred people finding you rather than you finding one. That's real marketing and, and the way we should be doing marketing. 